This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 1077, You Love What You Invest Yourself In, by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com. And I'm Justin Mollick, your host, your narrator, and your old friend, or OLD friend. OLD stands for Optimal Living Daily, by the way. It's Thanksgiving today, and this will sound super cheesy, but I'm thankful that you're here listening, especially if you're listening every day. It really means a lot. And I wouldn't be doing this if you weren't listening, so thank you. And I also have to thank sponsors like Scoggin for keeping things running here and paying the bills. Are you focusing on the most meaningful things in life? Take inspiration from Scoggin watches and jewelry. Their Danish minimalist designs are guided by less is more, a good daily reminder for all of us. See how they do it at skagen.com. that's S-K-A-G-E-N.com, and get a special discount on your first purchase when you sign up for emails. Again, that's Skagen, S-K-A-G-E-N.com. For now, let's get right to it as we optimize your life. You Love What You Invest Yourself In by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com. Until you love something, you'll never give everything you have for it. Passion fades. Love only becomes more powerful regardless of the outcome. Love is the highest of all human motivations. The lower motivations, avoiding punishment and pain, seeking reward or pleasure and duty, aren't even comparable to the power of love. Love takes the attention off of you and places it on someone or something else. When you love something, you put it before yourself. Very few display this level of devotion where you're willing to be and do whatever is required. Where is your love directed? Give up your notion of authenticity. If you wanna make improvements in your life, you need to fundamentally change as a person. The idea of changing yourself is off-putting to some. The desire to be authentic keeps people stuck in unhealthy patterns. Said David Hedemeyer Hansen, author of Rework, quote, just be yourself is a terrible platitude for accepting the random attributes of character you've acquired thus far, end quote. According to psychologist Carol Dweck, Having the belief in a fixed identity can interfere with growth. Your identity isn't fixed. Without the belief that you can grow and change, all of your choices would be meaningless and irrelevant. If you truly love someone, you'll be who you need to be for that person. Your thoughts will be directed toward their happiness, not how they can make you happy. Your creativity will be towards creating meaningful experiences for them. If you love a particular cause, You'll be who you need to be to bring that cause forward. You won't let your current deficiencies stop you. You'll get educated. You'll acquire skills. You'll develop relationships. You'll fail. You'll work. You'll look foolish. It's not about you. Kierkegaard, Socrates, and Levinas all believe love is fundamentally directed towards something outside oneself. An overfocus on yourself keeps you stuck in your head and worried about your own feelings rather than out in the world doing good. Forget yourself and get to work. Become who you must be for the people and causes you love. It is only in devoting yourself wholly to something outside of yourself that you become self-actualized. It cannot happen in a self-absorbed and self-concerned manner. Being about something far greater than yourself is the most beautiful way to live. Completely own where you currently are. If you want a life more than you currently have, you must be more than you currently are. Said Benjamin Disraeli, quote, man is not the creature of circumstances, circumstances are the creatures of men, end quote. Your circumstances are a reflection of you. If your relationships are toxic, who's to blame? If your finances are a mess, who's to blame? If you hate your job, who's to blame? Of course, there are external factors at play, but life organically shapes itself around your standards. Until you change, your circumstances won't. To quote Darren Hardy, quote, to achieve what you have not, you must become who you are not. You have to grow into your goals, end quote. Whatever it is you want in life, you must be that person before you can have it. Until you become that person, you are delusional. You won't live your dreams until you become the person who creates those dreams. Said Jim Rohn, quote, success is not to be pursued, it is to be attracted by the person you become, end quote. This reality has recently become very apparent to me. To be blunt, I've been living far beneath the results I'm seeking in my life. The reason is simple. I haven't loved deeply enough. I haven't loved my family enough. I haven't loved my clients enough. 
I haven't loved my work enough. I haven't loved my life enough. Because I haven't loved enough, I haven't been the person needed to make these things as great as they could be. I'm not crying over this fact. I'm not depressed. I'm just stating the facts. I've been selfish. Quote, love is the only thing powerful enough to overcome everything holding you back. Chris Chan, professional skateboarder. Love is powerful enough to make hard and sometimes irrational decisions. Love is powerful enough to commit to something for the long haul. Love is powerful enough to get you out of bed at 5 a.m. and get to work. Love is powerful enough to learn things and acquire skills to benefit the lives of others. Love is powerful enough to change you into someone more and better than you currently are. Love is always directed outward. You love what you invest yourself in. People often ask, how can I know what I want to do? How can I know what I'm passionate about? These questions are misdirected. They're overtly focused on themselves and their own happiness. Happiness cannot be pursued, it must ensue as the unintended consequence of devotion to something or someone else. Viktor Frankl believed this too, explaining it as the very reason for both survival in Nazi concentration camps and for success in life. Rather than worrying about what you're passionate about, invest yourself in something you believe in. You grow to love what you put your energy into. You love what you do well. You love what you've sacrificed for. You love what you've changed for. If you work hard in a particular class, you'll love that class. If you work hard on a project, you'll love that project. If you work hard writing a paper, you'll love that paper. If you invest yourself in a relationship, you'll love that person. Love comes from work. It's not a feeling, it's committed action. And commitment is a byproduct of investment. What do you love? You just listened to the post titled, You Love What You Invest Yourself In by Benjamin Hardy of benjaminhardy.com. That was super relevant for me. I don't think I need to explain it. It should be pretty apparent since I do this every single day of the year. And I'm able to do that thanks to sponsors like Skagen. Did you know some of the happiest people on earth live in Denmark? Skagen is not only named after a Danish coastal town, but it's also inspired by the people who live there. Their Danish lifestyle focuses on what's meaningful, being part of a community, making time for relationships, and living in the moment. Skagen connects the dots between culture and design with minimalist watches and jewelry that reflect the less is more concept. And I have a Skagen smartwatch. It tracks my activity, has smartphone notifications, music control with storage, and a lot more. You can even make payments from it. It's a beautiful watch, and it also has customizable dials and magnetic mesh straps, interchangeable straps too. Come check it out, along with their other watches and jewelry, visit skagen.com, that's S-K-A-G-E-N.com, to get a special discount on your first purchase when you sign up for emails. Again, that's skagen, S-K-A-G-E-N.com. That should do it for today's episode. If you're celebrating Thanksgiving and listening to this in real time, I hope you have a wonderful one. I'll be having dinner with family and likely working, editing and writing episodes, but I'm okay with that because you're here listening. So thank you for being here and listening all the way through. It really means a lot. Have a great rest of your day and I'll catch you in the show tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.